Big Seller site is a WordPress plugin. It means that if you have Shopify, I'm sorry, we cannot help. However, if you run a WordPress website, install the plugin, it's very easy. We have two versions. The free version is available directly inside the WordPress plugins directory. So basically open your website, go to plugins, add new, search for Pixel your site, you will find it like this, install, activate, and that's it. You just need to configure uh, the pixels inside your free version of Pixel your site. The paid version of the plugin is available on our website, pixelyoursite.com. So if you need to upgrade, simply go to pixelyoursite.com, select the plugin you want to get or the license you want to get, and we will send you the files and you can install them on your WordPress website. After you install the plugin, you'll get something like this. Uh, you can configure your MetaPixel with Conversion API support, Google Analytics with GA4 support, Google Ads tag, TikTok with a dedicated paid add-on, Bing again with a dedicated paid add-on, and Pinterest with a dedicated paid add-on. Uh, I made a mistake. TikTok is not a separate add-on. It's part of the Pixel Site Professional uh, package. Once you have them here, you will need to add the tag ID. For example, this is the Facebook Pixel ID. You get the ID from your uh, events manager, like this, copy, add it here, and save. And if you want to enable conversion API, you need the conversion API token. You can get it from uh, events manager, settings. Okay. Generate access token. Click on this link. Meta will generate this token. Copy the token. Go back to the plugin. Add the token here and scroll and save. Once you do so, the plugin will start to fire a number of events. And we have these event settings right here. Automatic events. Click and you will see what kind of actions we track automatically. We track uh, links, internal and external links. So if someone clicks on a link, we fire an event. And you can see other settings if you open the event. Uh, embedded YouTube videos, telephone links, so if someone clicks on a telephone link, we track it, email links, forms, user sign up, user login, downloads, and from the settings you can define what kind of file will qualify as a download, comments, we track comments, uh, AdSense clicks, so if you have AdSense ads on your website, and someone clicks on them, we will fire an event called AdSense, page scroll time on page and searches. These are the default actions that we track automatically. Uh, using these events, fire for these actions, you can, fire, you can configure custom conversions or custom audiences on Meta. And again, uh, we fire them for the other tags, Google Analytics, Google Ads, Pinterest, TikTok, and you can do the same there as well. Uh, we have a number of parameters for our events and you can control them from here. Basically, you can enable or disable various parameters like page type, the post type. There are a lot, a lot of them. You can see them here. Uh, these parameters help you, uh, again, to create custom audiences or custom conversions using events and parameters combinations. Um, if you have a WooCommerce website, we fire a lot of e-commerce specific events and from the WooCommerce dedicated page, you can control various set settings. For example, this is the purchase event fire when a transaction takes place and you can control values, uh, options, and when the event should fire, what kind of um, order status should trigger the event uh, and all sort of things. Uh, same for the other events, for example, the add to cart, uh, view content on product pages. We have other op options as well. You can configure the IDs that will be used with the events. 
for dynamic values, uh, anything is configurable. If you need to fire your own events, it's possible. We have this events page from where you can um, configure extra events that maybe you want to track particular action that we don't track. You can easily add a new event and uh, configure the trigger for this event, like page vis visits, uh, click on HTML link, click on CSS selector. Basically, this lets you track uh, clicks on any element of your page. Uh, mouse over CSS selector, page scroll, and you can define the scroll and post type. So basically, you can tell the plugin to fire an event on a specific post type. Um, and once you configure the trigger, you define the event on Facebook or Meta. You can select the event type or you can give it a custom name and you can add parameters. And it works in the same way for Google and for Google Ads, Google Analytics, uh, J4 or um, Universal Analytics, uh, Google Ads, Google, TikTok, Pinterest, and Bing. Um, with the paid plugin, you have a number of dynamic parameters explained here. Uh, another feature that we have is head and footer. It will allow you to add uh, your own code, any code that you want uh, in the page header or footer. Um, you can add global codes or just um, code on some pages. It's another very useful feature. Something very interesting, if you use WooCommerce or Easy Digital Downloads, we have uh, this report section where you can visualize a lot of data. We track the landing page, the traffic source, the landing page, and a number of UTMs for your WooCommerce or Easy Digital Downloads orders. Uh, and we have uh, this uh, UTM builder right here with videos explaining how to use these UTM templates for Meta, for Google Ads, for TikTok, for Pinterest, and Bing. Click on the watch video link and you will see how to use UTM templates. You can create a UTM as well with our builder. With UTMs, you can track the uh, campaign name, the AdSense name, the ad name, and then with the reports, you can see what campaign generated your sales click on UTM campaign, UTM campaign will track the, UT, the campaign's name and you will see um, data about orders coming from various UTM campaigns. Click on the UTM um, campaign name like this and now you have a list with all the orders, you have, dates, uh, you have a list with all the orders ID and you can open each order and product sold in relation with this particular UTM campaign. So basically you have a list with products sold by a, a, a Meta campaign or a Google campaign or a Pinterest campaign, TikTok, tag, TikTok uh, or the Bing campaign as well. Um, so this is something very useful that our plugin does. Uh, we have a YouTube channel called Pixel Your Site. Go there and uh, search for more videos. I try to explain useful stuff that the plugin help uh, does for you. So simply browse our channel and watch more videos to learn exactly how to use uh, Pixel Your Site. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Thank you from, for watching this video.